G'day, I'm Brendan and this is Sarah. Along with our two kids, Brody and Charlize, join us on our epic adventure when we set sail on our 48 foot privileged catamaran named Excelsior. So sit back, relax and enjoy as we bring you the good, the bad and the ugly of sailing the east coast of Australia. Where are you, babe? Oh yeah, Percy Islands. Yeah. So pumped. Cannot tell you how long we've been waiting to come here. There's Southwest. And that is Middle Percy. Our friends Labesio. Just there in front of us. Yeah, they won. He's got a code zero, so I'm calling Cheetah. Oh man, been a big day. We started at uh, five o'clock this morning and it's now, I don't know, three, three thirty, something like that. First four hours were just shit house. Um, bit rough, and then the last however many hours, five hours have been freaking fantastic. This one's just a little bit excited. Birthday goal. Oh yeah, it's Sarah's birthday too, so can't wait to get in there and crack the bottle of champagne. Yeah. It's apparently a really rolly anchorage, but we've got our fingers crossed there. Swells look straight out of the east, so I reckon we'll be right for the night. Won't matter anyway, Sarah's going to hop on the champers and I'm going to have a couple of beers. We'll sleep soundly. <laughs> oh man, what a feeling. We've been watching other yachties come here for years. And uh, yeah, we've finally done it. So happy. So friggin' happy. Um, I just hope the anchorage is nice, gentle, and we can stay for a few days. We really don't want to shoot through. We want to actually spend some time here and go and check the place out, check out the lodge and, and everything. So anyway, we'll see what happens. I can't tell you how excited we are. Welcome to Middle Percy Island, located 87 kilometres off the Queensland coast and 125 kilometres southeast of Mackay. The island was first charted by Captain Cook and Matthew Flinders and is only accessible by boat. It is a yachty haven. Oh, how unbelievable is this place? It's gorgeous. <laughs> we arrived on Mum's birthday, which she was very pleased about. While the grown-ups enjoyed sundowners, we spotted humpback whales in the anchorage. The next morning, Dad filmed this whale family. The calf was having so much fun breaching, Humpback whales have one of the longest migratory journeys of any mammal, 5,000 kilometers. 
They come to the subtropical North Queensland waters to breed in birth to ensure their survival, as baby humpbacks do not have enough body fat to enjoy the Arctic. We took a walk up to the caretaker's homestead, taking a long track up and a short track down. There's phone signal at the top, lots of spots to stop and take in the view, and plenty of surprises along the way. The blue tiger butterflies were prolific. These guys are also migratory and travel south in the spring and summer months. Blue tigers live for up to six months and are one of the longest living butterfly species. What do you call a group of butterflies? Flutter. That's correct. We also came across many goats, some of which are said to have been introduced by the Royal Navy ship HM Schooner Pearl in 1874, and are thought to originate from India. The Pearl was given the mission of leaving goats and planting coconuts and other edible fruits from the Brisbane Botanical Gardens. Since European settlement, the goats have been utilised for over 130 years for meat, milk and skins. Up at the homestead we got to pat one of the goats and see some of the peacocks that were on the island. That's amazing. The island has a diverse landscape which we really enjoyed.
playing with the view. I'll give you Hold on, we can get Where are you, bride? Home. <laughs> I'm staying here forever, and I mean it. I can live off the coconuts and the coconut water. I loved the A-frame. There was so much to look at and many boat names that we recognised. There's a swing and there's even a hammock to chill out in. On the right, the right with the nuts. That's how you get up. Like a little monkey. Big comfy bed. It is actually quite comfy. Caretakers have produce available in the A-frame, which was very handy. We highly recommend the local honey. Then it was our turn to find a spot for our tribute and fix it alongside the others. Coincidentally, our boat's previous namesake was there too. Since embarking on our sailing journey, we have wanted to visit Percy, and it certainly didn't disappoint. We made some precious memories together as a family, and that's what it's all about. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.